Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this particular video will be discussing about Philippine environmental laws as part of our pollution topic in NGIC 9 or environmental science. So the first act or law that we will need to discuss is about Philippine Clean Air Act of 1999, also known as RA 8749. This is an act providing for a comprehensive air pollution control policy. So this will be discussing about how to control the types of pollution we emit in factories and at the same time in our homes, especially banning us from the use or from burning plastics. Number two, Tobacco Regulation Act of 2003 or RA 9211. Act regulating the packaging, use, sale, distribution, and advertisement of tobacco products. So for RA 9211, our concern is not only air, clean air, but at the same time, healthier air for all the Filipino people. Number three, Toxic Substances and Hazardous and Nuclear Waste Control Act of 1990, or RA 6969. This is an act that regulates, restricts, or prohibits the importation, manufacture, processing, sale, distribution, use, disposal of chemical substances, and mixtures. Take note of the word regulate and restrict. So uh, we need standard protocols and also permit on the transport and also um in the process of in the process of buying and selling these particular goods in the country that is under RA 6969 the fourth law would be ecological solid waste management act of 2000 RA 9003 provides guidelines and targets for solid waste avoidance and volume reduction through source reduction and waste minimization measures. So this particular law will not only tell us about how to segregate our waste into biodegradable and non-biodegradable, but at the same time, it will talk about what is solid waste and how to properly dispose it and the guidelines on how to establish a good dump site or a sanitary landfill for waste disposal. Number five would be Philippine Clean Air Act of 2004, RA 9275. Act providing for a comprehensive water quality management of our fresh, brackish, and marine waters focusing on pollution prevention. So aside from providing us with how to prevent pollution by following this particular law, we will also classify the types of water depending on their use. That will be under RA 9275. The sixth law is the Water Code of the Philippines under PD 1067. Revised and consolidated the laws governing the ownership, appropriation, utilization, exploitation, development, conservation, and protection of water resources. Number seven will be Wildlife Resources Conservation and Protection Act, or RA 9147. This act provides for the conservation and protection of wildlife resources and their habitats, especially protecting our protected areas in the country in order for us to conserve and also to protect our wild flora and fauna in that particular enclosure, in that particular protected area. So this will be more on biodiversity conservation at the same time. Number eight would be National Integrated Protected Area System Act of 1992 or RA 7586, an act providing for the establishment and management of National Integrated Protected Area System or NEPAS. So here in the Philippines, we have different protected areas, especially those areas that are rich in ecosystem or rich in biodiversity. We are protecting those areas from log illegal loggers and at the same time hunters or poachers of the different types of flora and fauna in a particular area. That is under your RA 7586. And the last law would be Indigenous Peoples Rights Act or RA 8371. IPRA seeks to recognize, promote, and protect the rights of the indigenous people, especially in their particular domain or in their particular area. So as much as possible, we are giving these areas to them for their utilization and for also for their own um, culture and tradition to be followed in that particular area. And that will be talked under Indigenous Peoples Rights Act or RA 8371. I hope you can memorize all these particular laws, environmental laws in the Philippines as part of our discussion on pollution control. See you in our next video.
Thank you and have a great day.